Tiny 11 by NT Dev Labs. Now, basically, it's, of course, a custom ISO image of Windows 11. It's tiny, you know. It's stripped of all the blow and all the crap. Yeah, and if we look at the GitHub page, we can actually see a bunch of stuff here has been removed. Yeah, this might not even be all of it. So we're actually going to take a look at Tiny 11 and see what has changed, what's been removed. Hope you guys enjoy. Woo, man, I apologize if I'm sounding a little excited. I'm just, I don't know why, I'm just feeling a little excited tonight. But anyway, yeah, let's just go ahead and set up our virtual machine. So we're just gonna set, I guess we'll just do custom, yeah. Yeah, of course we're gonna bump this up. I guess we'll bump this up to like eight gigs. So far, it seems like normal, but again, we just, we're just starting the install, so who knows what this is gonna... Okay, this actually looks pretty much the exact same. Activate Windows, oh no. Hey, Microsoft, how about you go fuck yourself? And this should go by pretty quick. I wouldn't be shocked if this takes like less than three minutes. Wait, oh wait, no, wait, here we go, here we go. This is what I'm thinking of. Is this the right country? No. My country is the UK, okay? <laughs> Not really. Good things coming my way, huh? W what good things are gonna come? Are you gonna force me to make a Microsoft account? Yeah, I, I like how they have the, the balls to say good things are coming, and yet they pull that kind of, that kind of crap on you. I just, or they, you know, they basically force you to create a Microsoft account it just, it's just, it's a mess. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not even telling me to create a Microsoft account. Nice. I'm, I'm liking that already. Let Microsoft and apps use your location. Hell no. Find my de device? No. Send diagnostic data? How about no? Quit asking me. <laughs> do you want us to track you? No. Do you want us to track you? No. Do you want us to track you? No. Microsoft, how many times do I gotta tell you? I don't want to be tracked. Yeah, just so many things about Windows 11 in general. Even Windows 10 to an extent, just... I, I, don't even get me started. It's one of the big reasons why I moved to Linux. Okay, almost there. What do we got? Oh, okay, so so far this looks just like vanilla Windows 11. Let's take a look at the start menu. Ooh, wow. That's actually a lot better. Holy cow. There is literally, I mean, besides like the basics, like calculator, clock. Yeah, no, this is basically, you know, it's it's Windows 11, but just a lot of the crap is just ripped right out of it. How about six plus nine? There we go. Get started. What is this? Yeah, this is one app I've never touched. Let's customize your experience. More like, let's figure out ways on how to track you. How about no? Yeah, see, and look, the, the internet actually works on here. Look at that. Oh, that's right, Edge I don't think is even on here. Oh my god, you don't even have any internet browsers, do you? That is crazy. Why aren't there any internet? At least install Firefox. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is the desktop version. So yeah, no, as you can see, we got we got Firefox here. Uh, we love keep. Oh my God. Let's let's just go to YouTube, I guess, just to test out the internet. Yeah, and as you can see, I mean, it plays. It plays pretty much how you would expect. Uh, let's go to Google, I guess. Oh, no, not car. Cat pics. There we go. It works. Google search works just fine. Yeah, you don't even have a media player either. <laughs> wow. VLC, baby. Yeah, we, so we don't have picture viewer, do, do we? Let me check. I don't know how you guys feel about Earth and View, but honestly, Earth and View is probably one of my favorite photo viewers, like, period, for all users. Because I can install this. Yeah, there we go. Now we have our photo viewer. <laughs> I love the old school, like, the, I, the old the slideshow icons here. Kinda, it reminds me of the 90s. No, not open office. No, LibreOffice. I keep getting them all mixed up. You're looking at the file size. You're like 347 megabytes. That's a lot. Well, compared to Office, Microsoft Office, this is actually not much. So yeah, here's our VLC media player. So 
So now if you want to play music or videos, now we got that. Just gonna, we're just going to choose typical for this install. I guess we'll open up uh, Impress. Why not? This is like PowerPoint. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, no, as you could see. Yeah, there we go. We got our PowerPoint software without needing PowerPoint. Let's back up your PC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are just, yeah, these are just your, like, Windows setting thingy-mabobs. Computer management. Of course, we got control panel. Yeah, again, it's so funny to me that Windows 11 still uses the new and the old style. Like, they literally have one control panel like this, and then the other one is, like, a newer control pa I just, I just don't get Microsoft's logic. It's like, if they wanted to have the old one, they didn't even have to make the new one. They could have just kept this one the way it was. Are we signed into a Microsoft account? No, okay. Okay, cool. It might look a little choppy, but that's just because I don't have the display drivers installed and I'm just not. <laughs> yeah, nothing in widgets, which, hey, you know what? I'm happy with that. Because usually, like, in widgets, it's just usually, it's just so full of crap could install steam but the problem is i i need to sign into my account for that which i'm not gonna do that here i know we got key pass here now so now you can store your passwords oh that's not bad 129 so i mean yeah i guess technically this is still lighter but uh not not by a lot <laughs> so yeah guys i mean my overall thoughts on this it's great that you know it's great that this is, this actually is quite a bit lighter. It might be hard to tell at first glance, but I mean, obviously there's definitely not as many programs. Yeah, like you barely have any apps, you know, you barely, heck, you barely even have like any like regular Windows applications, you know? Like you barely got any bloat, you know? Plus it makes adjustments to where, force, you know, it, it won't force you to create a Microsoft account which is a big plus. You know, a lot of the Microsoft services are just, they're just completely disabled here. Hell, I think even the Xbox services, or at least most of them are disabled. I don't know about like using the actual, like the Xbox controllers, but but yeah, I know like the game bar and all that. I think, I think those are disabled. Let me check. It says allow your controller to open game bar, but I don't think, that's even on Tiny11. So, uh, yeah, my overall thoughts, again, Tiny11, it's basically a much lighter Windows 11. Now, would I recommend Tiny11 for as a daily driver? Um, unless if you are using the computer to, act, to just play games and not connect to the internet, then I would not recommend using this for any, like, any personal stuff, you know, because... Again, it's a custom ISO, and, you know, you kind of, you kind of have to have this thought of, you know, I mean, even if it's a legit custom ISO, you know, it's like, can you fully trust it, you know? Because, yeah, I wouldn't trust using this as my actual operating system. Hell, even because it's associated with Windows 11, I wouldn't trust it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you like the video, you know, you make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. I got more content coming. If you, if you do want to see more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, peace.